look what I got here, the Life Power 4 version 2 battery. Basically, I'm just going to be going over the specs in this video, telling the new things about it, you know, giving you the price, all the pros and all the upgrades from the first Life Power 4 battery, which you guys know I got a bunch of those over there running my house, you know, because I think, you know, it's just one of the best budget batteries out there. And it's still a deal. Let's go ahead and talk about the price. Right now, at the time of making this video, and you guys know how this goes with me, I'm going to tell you the price of this video, and then the price is going to change as soon as I post the video. But, hey, I'm going to go ahead and show you $1,199. Look, right on their site. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm not lying, man. That's the price. So, hopefully, if it changes, it'll go down. But I really don't think the, the price of this one's going to be changing because this is one of their staples is their batteries, you know, unlike Anchor and the other stuff that the price seems to fluctuate a little bit. But basically, this is going to be a 48-volt, 100-amp-hour battery. You know, that's going to be used for backup power. And this thing's going to be UL1973 listed. It's going to come with a 10-year warranty. It's going to come with your e-stop rapid shutdown capability. So if you're running this like with an 18K or 12K or something, you go hit the e-stop, bam, it's going to shut your batteries off as well. It's going to come with your new protocol with your dip switches, you know, because you're going to have more switches. You'll be able to have up to 64 batteries in parallel. That's over 327 kilowatt hours of batteries. So I don't know a lot of people that's doing DIY that's going to need more power than that. But, you know, if you do, hey, contact me below in the comments and let me know what kind of system you're building and for what. You're going to come with the enhanced terminals. You know, you're going to have two terminals on both sides instead of the one that come on the standard version one life power four battery. You better make two different connections because these are the enhanced terminals. You're going to come with the handles that flip, you know, in and out like the version ones. Oh, my table's too low. All right. I like the version ones. You know, the handle just kind of stays out. You know, this one you can flip back out of your way, you know, once you get it in place wherever you need it. And it's not going to be bothering you or hitting your cords or rubbing against anything. And, of course, it's going to have live power four batteries, you know, with the prismatic cells. So, you know, top of the line. And this is going to be rated for over 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. And this is going to come with an RS-485 and CAN communication. You know, so you'll be able to hook up to more inverters and communicate easily, especially with these CAN connections. You just go CAN to your inverter, bam, and the stuff just starts working. You know, I definitely like CAN connections. And one of my favorite features of these new batteries, the version 2, is it's going to come with your fire resters built right into the batteries. A lot of people worry about fires with their solar systems. And even with this chemistry of cells that's very, very safe, you know, it's definitely not going to hurt to have that extra layer of security for you and your family, especially if you got something in your garage or in your house or something like that. And you're going to have the fire rinses built in. So if there's ever a problem with this battery, you know, it's going to have at least the opportunity to, to put it out, you know, or less lessen it until you were able to deal with it or the fire department or whoever your first responder is for your property. And of course, Sigrid Solar did send me this out for review just so we know that before we get too far into the video. And if you're looking to make a purchase from them, and you want to get a discount, hey, use code RodneyHunt50. You're going to get $50 off any order over $500. And in the month of September, if you make an affiliate purchase, you'll be automatically entered into the contest to win one of these batteries right here for free. So you'll be able to add basically a $1,200 battery to your system for free just by making a purchase through my links or with my discount code. And there's not a ton of people every month making purchases. Maybe there's 10 people, maybe there's 20, maybe there's 30. Just depending on what kind of month I'm having with my affiliate sales. So there's very good odds if you make a purchase with Signature Solar with my links, you're going to win one of these batteries right here. It's not going to be this exact battery. You know, it's going to be a brand new one that's going to ship right out to you. And that's just because I appreciate everybody that uses my link. And I just wanted to team up with Signature Solar. We're both teaming up to make that happen. And also, for the people that can't make a purchase, I understand, hey, might not be able to make a purchase. Hey, that's fine. The people that's viewing my channel, I definitely appreciate that too. And I'm going to be giving away something for you guys that I purchased with my own money. And I'm not going to show it to you. I got it right here behind me right now. But I'm going to be making a video on it as well. You know, doing some testing with it. And then I'm going to send it out next month when I do a live stream. And whoever's in that live stream, basically, hey, you're going to have the opportunity to win it. And it's just going to be a little contest. Just pick somebody off the live stream and give it away to them. And hopefully they'll be able to use it, you know, when there's an emergency or if they already have a full system, maybe they can give it away to a friend that maybe needs some power, you know, if the grid goes down. 
But back to the Life Power 4 battery. So, I mean, everything I can see on it, I mean, this thing, it, it definitely looks pretty good. It looks like it's uh, user serviceable because it's got all the screws on it still, so you can open the thing up easily. You know, you got your standard specs uh, right here on the side. It's going to tell you your nominal voltage, your amp hours, you know, your charging rate, you know, your max voltage, your minimum voltage. So all the information you're going to need is going to be right here on the side. And uh, the weight and the dimensions on this thing, this thing is basically 100 pounds. It's like 99.8 or something like that. So this thing's going to be 6.1 inches high, about 19 inches deep, about 17 inches wide. Another thing this is going to come with that the first version didn't have is basically a BMS on-off switch. I'm trying to look at it in the camera over here and find it, but right here somewhere. So basically right here, as you can see, you got your on-off button for your BMS. You can turn your BMS off. So you don't have to use just a breaker. You can have the breaker off and still turn the BMS on if you're trying to do an update or do some kind of communications, you know. And it also has a display uh, port on here for USB. So I'm going to have to look that up to see exactly how that works. So, you know, like I said, you got the dip switch changes where you can have, you know, of the 64 batteries, but then you got the, the switches also to change the protocol for this. So if you want to use it with a grow watt or EG4 or whatever protocol you're going to be using for the communications, you know, it can be right here in the manual and tell you how to set it up. So it's got a uh, can communication for the EG4 and Lux, the grow watt, the solar, the die, mega revo, Victron, look power, SMA. So all the can communications where you got to change the protocols, you can change it right on the dip switches on the front. So that's another thing that this battery does that the version one did not. Now, let's see if I can understand what's up with this LCD thing. All right, I'm going to download the full manual and look at it, I guess, for this little LCD USB on here to figure out exactly what that is. All right, and what does this battery come with? You know, you got to come with your little communication cable, your Cat6 cable here. You got to come with a couple of battery cables. So, you know, if you got these in a server rack and you're stacking them, be able to connect them together. It comes with that pair already. Got to come with your quick start guide there and of course right on the top is going to come with all your information where this thing got tested so it tells you what empires it got at the factory you know if everything passed qc which of course it did this battery says it had 100.48 amp hours and the voltage is 52.89 and the actual status when i guess it's left the factory was 54% state of charge. So we'll be able to check all that out once we get this hooked up and start testing. But that's going to be in the next video. You know, if you guys got anything you want me to do with this when I do the testing, hey, let me know down in the comments below. This is a little, this video is just a little quick rundown of the new things on this battery, the things that's changed and telling you the price and stuff like that. And the next video, we're going to be doing the testing. That way I, that way I can get your comments first and know what you want me to do and what you want me to look at before I start doing the testing. If there's something I'll be able to do, I'll go ahead and add it into the next video. And remember, I definitely appreciate everybody that watches the videos all the time. The same people comment a lot, and I definitely appreciate it. I know apparently I'm helping at least some people out because they keep coming back and people keep supporting me. And, you know, they're able to answer questions I have sometimes, you know, because of course I don't know everything. So I can ask people down in the comments. And they can give me good ideas, especially on the builds and stuff I do. You know, a lot of times I might not be able to implement it, but there's always reasonings to what I do. You know, I'm not trying to build sometimes the best thing out there. Sometimes it's just doing it on a budget just to see if it will work. So that's what that uh, solar pergola was all about. I know a lot of people have a lot of comments about why I didn't do this or why I didn't do that. I just try to do it as budget as possible. If the thing falls down, I'm going to make a video of it. But I definitely appreciate everybody with the comments. And remember... If you like this kind of video, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.